Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sue with Ava's Bridal Couture in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And today I'm going to teach you how to measure your shoes for the heel height. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Every single Wednesday at 6 p.m. we post a new bridal vlog. Anything that has to do with wedding dress shopping, plus size dresses, alterations in-house, just navigating this whole process. So what I recommend is find a shoe in your closet that you really go to when you need a comfortable, cute, sexy heel or flat or wedge, whatever it is. Cause you know me, I don't care what shoe you wear, but <laughs> I do care about you. On a tape measure like this, I'll link some of my favorites um, online that you can purchase one of these. They're anywhere from a dollar to five dollars shipped to your home. This is just a fabric tape measure. So one side's gonna be the bigger number and then this is the correct side. Some designers will measure the inside and some measure the outside. So we're just gonna do both. Like most places do go by the inside heel height, just so you know, but I do every once in a while see the outside, so we'll just cover it. So we've got a two inch heel on the inside. The outside measurement is gonna be three and three eighths. Let's say you love a wedge shoe and you wanna be able to measure this. Well, just keep in mind that when you go into this curve here, you're gonna actually increase your distance. And then on a shoe like this, where it's just straight, that's gonna be a, you know, a, a smaller measurement. So keep that in mind when you're measuring. So here's another example going to measure the outside height and you could even measure the inside. Here's a little br uh, bridal informal shoe. This one, we can measure the outside and the inside. No platform on this one. I also grabbed a little ballet flat because I wanted to mention to you that ballet flats and kids or chucks are a little tricky because like this particular kid has a really tall sole, but then um, like chucks can have like a really narrow one. So just watch for that because that half inch that brings you up can really disappoint you when you've cut your hem and spent like hundreds of dollars on your hem and then you go and change your shoe and you're like, so we don't want that. Um, ballet flats are kind of interesting too. Same thing happens with the heel height. This one obviously has no platform, not a lot of cushion, not much on the inside. These were from Target, and some of the ballet flats have a lot of cushion on the inside, so just be thinking of those little details. This isn't gonna make or break you, whether there's like an insole, so don't get super crazy. I promise it's not gonna be a big change for you. The big changes are gonna be if you're going like a quarter of an inch or more, but if you're an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch below, no big deal. But find a shoe that is really comfortable that when you're walking around and for hours on end, you just feel really supported. Your feet feel really good. It could be the heel height that's really good for your feet. It could be the style. Like I know I do really well with wedges and it could also be the platform. If you haven't started shopping for your shoes for your wedding, go ahead and click on this link here. That's a great video for um, shopping and I share some of my best stores that you want to start with and so hopefully save you some time. Now it's time to hear from you. So comment below and tell me where you got your shoes. I want to hear all of your comments and if you're a new bride and you're new to our YouTube family, go into the description as well and I'll link some other videos as well as above so that you can click on some other resources on this topic. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that I inspired you with some ideas and I hope that you feel motivated and ready to tackle the shoe shopping adventure. Let me know how you're doing and don't forget to comment below and let me know what you find.